Today's daf is daf ein hey. We're continuing the subject of of the uh, of Yuchsin, who can marry who, and uh, in the Mishnah, at the very end of the Mishnah, it also talks about a kusis that the Sveikis are allowed to marry each other, that Mamzedes and and so on and Shtuki can marry uh, each other, and uh, Shtuki is someone whose mother we know, but we don't know who the father is, and then it talks also about a kusis, the nation of Kusim. What exactly is the story? They will soon see. So the Gemara says over here. On the iron hay on that olive, we are up to the Gemara here. Um, there we go. Um, about three lines above the middle wide lines. Now, this is actually a sugya we had in uh, in Sudas, and uh, the Gemara brings it up here again. The Amar Rav Chizda Hakol three lines above one line. Amar Rav Chizda Hakol Moedim. Everyone is Moedim. That Almonas Isa. Remember, we use the expression Isa though because it's made up of many components, and and therefore it's not pure. The wife, the widow of of uh, known as Almonas Isa. What is this Almonas Isa? So the way we learn is that there was a Cholom that got married into a family. This is how Rashi learns. Big Machlech is Rashi Tesis. Not really here. Rashi is here, but Tesis is in, is in Ksub. There's a long Tesis there. Rashi has a new idea of what a Svek Svek is. But the case here is, there was, according to Rashi, there was a Cholo, somebody who was a Koyin who was born from a father and a mother who, not, who shouldn't have been married to each other. And he married this um, this widow. And um, she's known as Almonas Isa, the widow of an Isa. And, then, and we'll soon see what that story is. Shipsul Kun. So obviously, she is puzzled to the coin. <clears throat> Since you cannot marry her daughter, we'll soon see. She's puzzled to marry into a coin. If her husband died, now she's a widow. A widow can marry a coin, but not her. She cannot marry a coin. Man, <clears throat> Makel, um, I'll prove it to you. She, she, is, she married a cholo. She's allowed to marry a cholo. Make her the That's what we're saying here. That she is not allowed to, according to this, and I'll prove it to you. Man, make a We just had him before on top of the page. You know, and all of the Tanik Kama, and 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 so on. Remember, Rabbi Yisi says, look at the children, and and um, and Rabbi Shimon says, you look at the, the the daughter. If it is a daughter, man, make a Who is the most lenient of all of these tonight? Rabbi Shimon Gamliel who comes, he says, Ko He says that if you can marry the daughter, we don't even look at the sons. We only look at the daughter. If you can marry the daughter, then the the mother is also right. Because if you cannot marry the daughter because of a psu, then I have to know some you know you're not allowed to marry your mother. Which case is it that only the daughter is is, is us and not the son? Only the daughter. Lemute mai lemute almana sisa shepsul lekuna the almana of anisha she's puzzled to a kain and the, and the daughter is also puzzled to a kain. So therefore, so that's the the case of Rav Shimon Gamliel with the daughters. Our apostle, nobody else is the Almanus Isa's daughter, says the Gemara. But you should know, not everyone agrees with this. I put him out tonight. This, this, this uh, negates or argues with the following tonight. Let's not be looking the Mishnah. Hey, you did have a show, but I've been saying that I've been sure I've been saying that testified. Al Almanus Isa, she shade of Lakuna. Why she cost her Lakuna? She was married to a whole my time. We have a sex faker, sex faker, cooler. What's a sex faker here? The husband was, was a uh, was a whole. Right, so the husband was a chol, and what happened was that she married a a, a suffolk chol. She, this husband was a chol, and the question is whether she married she married a person in that family. But no one remembers who the chol in that family was. So it's a suffolk whether she was married to the chol. So that's suffolk number one. Was your husband the chol? And suffolk number two is you know, because his father was a chol, and he's a chol. And suffolk number two is. She is not the person who's a suffix. She is second generation. She was married to somebody. So that's called a sex faker. Tasis goes to town. We, what kind of sex faker is that? Sex faker is that in the first suffix, there's another suffix. So it reduces the numbers. It's a, the second suffix is nothing to do with It's not a suffix. It's the same suffix. Was she married to this guy the or not? So Tasis, if you learned what happened was there was a suffix cholol married in the family. So the double suffix is, first of all, it was the cholol b'chalim and cholol. And if it was, was that your husband? So there's a sex faker. Okay. And uh, and and the, the only problem with is that why would uh, these Tanaim here be so strict? 
and say that she's also chitakas a sex faker. Why should we say if we say even shimming a blue who's, who's most makel would hold that you know if you cannot marry the daughter, but why taka can't you? It's a sex faker. And uh, at least way Rashi learns it's a it's a shvach a sex faker. It's only one subject really. Who was a chol and the bushi married him, so then it makes sense. The that you know the daughter does and so on. According to Tais, it's mamish a sex faker. Why taka imachmer? Unless we say what we learned yesterday, myla also be yuchsin. That even we said technically, madin rape shein that's law she should be kosher by a shtuki or tanuya. But we we are machmer because myla also be yuchsin. So maybe the same way here. Anyhow, so you want to further vade bevade mut. So we had a machlekes in Mishnah. We hold that you know you love that a mamza can marry a shtuki, that a vada and a sabi can marry each other because only a kol vada is us. A mamza not married to kol vada, a kol sabi can. Comes along with Rabbi and he says, no, a vada and a sabi cannot marry each other because the sabi might be kosher, and the vada is a mamza. He can't, and he doesn't hold his rasha sabi. You know, only a vada kol, not a sabi kol. Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Amar Rabbi Alok, Rabbi Leza, Alok, like Rabbi Rab said, Alok, like Rabbi Leza, that a vada should not marry a sabi. A mamza should not marry a shtuki. Kamrita Kamedish Mu. So you just said later on when I went to I became a Tamil Shmuel and I repeated to him, is a um Amali Hilal Shaina. It says that Baraisa Hill said, I saw the Yuxim all of the bubble. There were ten families that went from Bubble. The Kula Mutari love is that they're all allowed to marry each other. But at Amin, you tell me a lock of Lazar. You tell me a lock of Rabalaza. In other words, the halacha that Vada can marry a suffix. So Shmuel holds the Vada can marry a suffix, and Rav holds the Vada cannot marry a suffix. Okay. What has a problem with that? But Rami the Rabbi, the Rabbi Rami Shmuel Shmuel. We have a question for Rabbi Rabbi. A question Shmuel Shmuel. Did we learn Arusa Sheibra? What happened? This woman was pregnant. The the woman was pregnant, and we ask uh, Rabs, and we and, and we want to know what the status of the child. Now she's an Arusa, and Arusa, the the majority of the world are puzzled to her, except her own husband to be her husband. Everyone else is also. She's a married woman. In fact, she gets killer. So, so so therefore, and we don't know where this, who the father of this child. So Arusha Shiba Rav says, have a lot of Even though we don't know, we treat it as if a vadai. So Rav holds that a suffix is like a vadai. And Shmuel says, a lot of Shmuel says, no, a suffix is a suffix. It might not have It's not like a vadai. In other words, Rav holds that a suffix is like a vadai. That means a lot of marry each other. A, mam- a mamza can marry her, which is exactly the opposite of what he said before. We said the like a blessed that something cannot marry Vlad. And Shmuel says that the Vlad is merely a shtuki. That means a mamza cannot marry her. Not like he said before that a suffix can marry a vadai. Now, the crazy mother could have answered the Rav very simply. That Rav, before, in a normal case of a Pnuya, Rav, Shady, Netzla, the most are kosher. So, therefore, if, if, if the child is a suffix, it's a, it's a Shvacha suffix, because probably the child is kosher. That's why he can't marry Mamzer. Here, she's an Arusa. Rav, Psuli, Netzla. The majority of people are possible. We here, therefore, much more Mahmed. And that's why Rav says here that a suffix cannot marry a. Uh, uh, so, so on, or, or, but anyway, so you might want to know the, how do you explain that and how you explain Shmuel. Says the Yemoda, um, could, could have answered that because this would not answer Shmuel, it would only answer Rav. So, therefore, we want to look for an answer that will answer both Rav and Shmuel. So, Yemoda says, Eifu, you're right, swap the names around. Rav Amar Avlad Shtuki, the child of Savi, because he holds a Savi, cannot marry a Badai. Easy, this is a cop answer. Shmuel says, Avlad Mamza. The Shmuel says that of what? The Vlad, just like a Mamzik, because there's no different stuff like a Vada, you're allowed to marry each other. So you want to talk to them, and he said, why do you need the case of Penuya in our Mishnah? And then you need this case here, Varusa Shibra, Varusa. What's what do you need both cases? Once you have the principle that a suffix is like a Vada or not, that's it. So we need both cases. If you only knew the case of our Mishnah, I would say, only over here, Rab says that why? That a suffix, Mamzik cannot marry to Kim Mishnah, the Rape Shay The majority of the people are kosher to her, so therefore, you don't want a mamza because probably the kid is kosher. We don't want a mamza to marry this kid. Abel, Yehosan, the Rebbe, the majority of people are apostles of Gabi her. So therefore, Rav maybe is made to the Machmir, that a suffix and a vada can marry, can live with each other. Mamza, a mamza can live with the Shpuki. Amen, Moed, the Shmuel. The Yitma, Baha, I would say, Baha, come up. Only by the case of Rusa, I would say, you know why? Even though Taki, most people are apostles of Gabi her, but the chances are that it came from a husband because they already have a connection. So therefore, therefore, it's a strong reason to say that it came from a husband, therefore it's kosher. That's what I've said. That Mamza should not marry this girl because probably the father was the uh, orders and he's embarrassed to say anything about it. We should be equal about We have a we have grounds, at least there's one person that she can live with. Abu Baha comes to Panuya. If she's not married, she shouldn't be living with anybody. So therefore, Engel Meidlishmol, there maybe the was much more that is um a good chance that the child is taka and is not kosher and that mamza should be to marry. See in both cases. That's one answer. So how can you explain the difference? 
the daughters. Oh, maybe it's a mamzer. Maybe the father was a mamzer. That, that's the problem. Oh, the father. We don't know who the father is. Ibai and Nachas Haris is La Elon Loitzay. We don't swap the names names around. I we have a kasha with Rabbi Rab, and I'm Mishra Rab Paskin that by Pnuya Safek can I marry a Vadek? And how come by a Rusa Shibra that he he says that what that she's that the kid is a mamza, which means Lachayda that he can marry a mamza. Well, my mamza coming up when he was used the word mamza, what that meant was not mutu be mamza, not that he mutu. You understood he meant mutu mamzeres. Although the Osir be Bas Yisrael, not that he mutu the mamzeres. He holds that a stuki cannot marry a mamza. Oh, but for the Zeit, it's also us that what? Us um, to marry a Basis as well. Because the Safik may be, maybe the kids of Mamza. So therefore, this the this the Kerech Mikan, the Kerech Mikan. Says the Gemara, Shmuel Amar, have a lot of stuki. What does Shmuel mean with a lot of stuki? The us of Basis also, stuki means it's a different category. And the Basis soul, we said before, stuki, Khadri, and all that, they marry a lot of each other, but not marry Basis soul because the Safik, Mamza. But the Gemara, Yehoki, Hain the Rav, what's the Machlek Zabar Shmuel? They're both saying, that what that um that uh, you can marry uh, you should not marry Bas Yisrael. So what are you arguing about? El my Shtuki, what Shmuel was saying, he was not arguing with that, but he's saying a new thing. My Shtuki, Shemeshaki Noisi Bedin Kula. Now what? That um even though the father, let's say she's a married woman, she's an engaged woman, right? She's a, a Rusa. Even though her husband to be is a, a Kayan, this child does not have the status of a Kayan. So you might have Pshita. Of course, we're not even sure. Maybe the, the, we're not sure if the father was actually the coin. The father might have been a mamza. The father might have been anybody, because he's a you know, a lot of anybody. So what, what, what do you tell me, Mishtik and Of course, that's the whole subject. Hash the bedin is from We don't even let him marry the bas Yisrael because maybe you know it might be with a friend, and therefore he's a mamza bedin kula beboya. You have to tell me that what that he's not a coin. Elamai Stuki, what does mean with the word Stuki? Again, he's not arguing with Rav, he's adding an, a, another aspect. When it comes to divide the state of the father and the brothers all dividing, and he said, Give me a chelik, they said, No, you're not the son of the, of the father. You prove, you prove who you are. Of course, they have a tiny, let him prove that he's the brother from the father's side, that he has, he's a chelik, he has a chelik in the father's Let's see that if he's toughest, and we have a Gemara Ksuba, the Chobbeis, that if you were toughest, when there's a suffix, okay, like if you went to Din Tehda, they would say, but now that you have it, so you're now the Machzik, uh, so then the others who want to take it back to you, and then we have a concept there with Trisal Ach and Leila Suffolk, and Luchet over here, this is a Mamash case where the Suffolk was from the moment he was born. Who are you? So Luchet, we learn over there that Trisal Ach and Leila Suffolk is not a valid Trisal. Trisal only helps, we, you know, we didn't yet have the dispute, and, 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 and he grabbed it, now what do we do? But Trisal Ach and Leila Suffolk, Luchet, doesn't really help. So what is... Um, What's the most answer of the toughest? But anyhow, says the Gemara. Um, and but anyhow, the Poyle, Shmuel says, maybe that's what Shmuel is saying is the Trisha doesn't help because the Trisha lacks in the suffix, and therefore, uh, and that's a Kiddush of Shmuel. If Shatuki means we silence him, say, hey, give it back, put back in the Yerusha, whatever you took. We boys say, no, the answer is my Shtuki. No, know what Shmuel meant in the word Shtuki? Baduki. We investigate from the mother. She wakes in the scene of a man who's a question about that mother, who is the father? And she says, it was a question of person. And the uh, menace, and we believe the mother. Says the Gemara, come on, Kidam Yamu, what was your passing in Yamu? We had the Shubas. Lama Shmuel comes in, we read Paskin that way. Now we learned how you said Mubedis. She was pregnant. Who is this child? And she says, each plain of a Kainu. The father and Nochma is a koyin, a miuchis, and a mgulin, and other aim, and then you believe, but I'm sure I'm an angel, I believe. I'm sure I love your gambleel, I love your gambleel, that she has no manus. So, look, why should we have to say it again? If you're telling me Sachako, what he said over here by that Rusa Shibra, and and he's saying that what? That just Vlad is a shtuki, that what we asked, the, and shtuki means buduki, like Abba Shalom before, and we asked the mother, where he had that machlekis in, in Ksubis. See, we need over here to say again why. Dima Hassam mean a Hassam Rav Shayros. In that case, there she was a Pnuyan, and most people are kosher to her. So therefore, we believe. I will hachet the Rav Shumas. So here she's an Arusa. Anyone apart from her husband is also to her. So maybe in this case, we're much more machim. We don't believe it. Ema loy sich. That's why I need it. Tanya, we learned v'chein Amar Rabbi Lazar, and we learned the same thing. Rabbi Liazar said. Kusi lo yisa kusis, the nation of Kusim, the Melachash over there chased, uh, whatever it was, Kusim are the people who were scared of lions. Lions used to roam at Yisrael, they became gay. And being Machlek of Tanoim, made of Yehuda, a lot of Tanoim were involved. Whether Kusim have the status of Gede Emes or Gede Arayis. 
And even without even having a result, in other places that they, they they once followed them and they found they made a trek. They wish they would go to um the Har Grizim and there was a dove there on top and they would worship the dove. So we're able to do it. But the, during the interim period, the question is, do they have a din of Gede Emis or Gede Arayis? So it says the Gemara, Rabbi, a Kusi should not marry a Kusis. What happened? Something happened in history, and therefore we don't want a Kusi to marry a Kusis. Because we're worried that one of them is kosher, one of them is possible. What's the story here? It says the Gemara, my time, what's the reason? A Gael, his children, and so on, and so on, are, anyone who's a descendant of Gaelim is considered a Gael halachically as well. If both parents are Gaelim and so on. If they are according to some, even some, some even others even just one. They have a din of Gaelim, but after 10 generations, it's forgotten. And therefore, now they're a full-fledged Yisrael. Um, <clears throat> and and the Tanya, so even though a Gael is allowed to marry a Mamzeres, for example, not just the Gael itself, the children and the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren, but at some generations no longer, because as far as people, they view the person, people go back 10 generations. You, you think what Shaduch and people are so nosy. Go back. Who's the Zayda? 10 generations they go back. Oh, each time from Gael. So, um, what do you call it? At the generation, people forgot who is Yichas. They think he's about full fledged Yidim. They see Mary Mamzedis. It'll be, you know, it'll be a terrible thing. The time you learn, Gate, Adas or Gate is Mutu by Mamzedis. Two generations, Mutu by Mamzedis. But after that, also by Mamzedis. However, the Yeshua Emin, Ati Shtakea Shem Eivichon Menor. It's not 10 generations. It could be two generations. Move to a new place. Nobody even knows who he was. But, um, it, it, and it sounds to me, even the Gate himself, if no one knows that he's a Gate, and, and he comes in as a Yid, then he's not allowed to marry him. Says the Gemara. Says the Gemara. Omle by a. Sorry? Are you sure? Bas is sure. Get to marry Bas is sure. I will see. To marry a Mamzedes, to marry the other Psalm, but not a Kusis. Not a Kusis. So why? So what are we talking about here? We're talking about over here is a, a Kusi who's been a Kusi for a long time. He's not allowed to marry a Kusis. That people, uh, no, the people forgot that this guy's a kusi, the man. But everyone knows the female is a kusi. He's not allowed to marry her because it looks like a yisro is marrying a kusi, and a yisro is not just the same thing as a gay. Is not allowed to marry a mamzeres after a number of generations, but people don't know that he's a gay, and it looks like yisro is marrying. Same thing with a kusi. A kusi has been around for a long time. People don't realize, don't remember that he's a kusi, that he's that he's descendant of kusi, and therefore he should marry a kusi from today because it looks wrong. Says a buyer, I'm a buyer, me dummy. What are you talking about? Hossum over there, we know that he's a kusi, otherwise he's not a kusi. Hossum over there, gay yoshin. Over there, the case of a gay is, we don't know that the guy is a gay anymore. He's a gay from 10 generations, 5 generations, who remembers? Mamzer uh, is and she is a mamzer today, so therefore we say, whatever it is, we don't want you to marry to marry each other. However, um, there it looks like, we're talking about a kusi man, a kusi. So we know that he's a kusi, and we know that she's a kusi. So uh, what's going on? Why can't a kusi marry a kusis? They're both the same ilk. Yeah. Why can't a kusi marry a kusis? Can't other they exactly the same? There's no maris ayin here. What are you worried about? So why can't a kusi marry a kusis? Unless something happened. He also said, He said, you know what? He holds like Rabbi Shmol. And Rabbi Shmol saw and Rabbi Shmol holds like Rabbi Kiva. What's the story here? Two things. Regarding the kusi kusi, so he holds like a big, he holds like a big. Rabbi Lazar, so Rabbi Lazar holds like a bishmol. The Amar kusim get a rois. They were not. In other words, they're a goy. Kusim are gedi a rois and not emes a gedim. So therefore, a kusi is a goy. So why can't a kusi marry a a, a kusis? Rabbi Shmuel, so we look at Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Shmuel holds like a. So first of all, they're not emes a they're not emes a gedim. They're goy. And the Bishmol so like Rabbi Kiva, Amar Oivuch Leibav Baisra Vlad Mam said, over the years, if a if a Kusi would have married, if he holds like Rabbi Akiva that the Vlad is a Mamzer, that, any, that even if he over a love, the child is a Mamzer. So therefore, if an ever if a, if this Kusi married a Bas Yisrael, married a Bas Yisrael, the child is a Mamzer, and then that child married a Kusi, that's it, you're Mamzer forevermore. We're scared there's Mamzeres involved. Where did Mamzeres come from? Because a Kusi is not a real gay, he's a goy, she's like a goy. And according to Bakiva, a goy, you marry the Yiddish woman, the child is a Mamzer. So there might be a Mamzer mixed into the family. And that's why a Kusi should not marry a Kusi. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> yeah. So therefore, and the Kusi is by the same token, it's also something Mamzer. Each one of them is a something Mamzer. 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 Uh, well, uh, the same problem. 
every as I said, so a suffix, a suffix can marry a suffix. So um, uh, what do you call? It? So one kusi might be, the kusi might be a mamza, the kusis might be a mamza. So therefore, they shouldn't marry, marry each other. <clears throat> so yeah, see the man. So the mother, first of all. <clears throat> Tracy goes for a that were chayshes that one of them is a goy. One of them is a goy. It could be that the kusi and kusi. So let's say the parents are a kusi and a kusi. We just established that kusi were goy. So one of them might be a yid. One of them might be a goy. And in fact, why do you, um, wants to know, why do you have to mention mamzer? The problem is it might be goy. They shouldn't marry. Could, could be one kusi is, is a yid because her mother was a yid, a real yid. And the other kusi is a goy. And you know, I'll marry a goy. And what are you, what are you adding on? This whole thing about mamzadin. What's the relevance of mamzadin here? Sorry. Yeah, but we don't need that. Even if we don't know Rabbi Kiva, the fact that the, that one of them might be a goy. If a kusi and a kusi is married together, live together, that kid is a goy because we're saying they're going. Yeah, but the other one might have been over the years. One of them might have married a basisro. The moment the basisro is in there, they're already a yid, and then a few generations so on. The mother, the mother, the mother is all yid, and. Um, so therefore, there's all kinds. Of, the father was a kusi by him, by him and she, the father was a kusi, of kusis, and uh, and therefore there's a. It's still called a kusi. So we don't say both parents have to be kusi. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So you must write him. So there was only eight of a kusi and a kusi. You want to get married? Want to get married? Marry each other? They both have to come. They both have to convert. And then mother is not a problem. Because <clears throat> even if, let's say, one of them turns out to be a yid, but a mamza, a gay is allowed to marry a mamza. A mamza is, there's no problems. Yeah. No, but saying, no, but saying now, if the father was a kus, was a kusi, the, the, sorry, the mother was a kusi, the kid is a goy. If the mother was a yid and the father was a kusi, according to Rabbi Kiva, the kid is a mamza. So if they both convert, then you have no problems. Manushek, if they were regularly eating, not 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 mamzayim or the goyim, they converted. And if they were a mamzer, a mamzer allowed to marry a convert, or about to marry each other, a mamzer allowed to marry mamzeres. So there's no problem. <laughs> now, if it's a well, suffering mamzer, so they keep on, they, yeah. So then they say in the fellow fill mamzayim. It's a mess. <laughs> that was the whole issue when the Ethiopians came to how to deal with the Ethiopians as well. And the Moshe said they should be Megaya, but maybe Megaya it solves all problems. Called on the Nama guy is always a suffering Mamzeda state because who said they have proper Gitan? But here, they, anyway, let's continue. Setting about first of all, me saw a Bishon, you have a Bishon, you have a Kiba, the child of Mamza, and I'm going to show him a nine who come every about Kanye, we have a Bishon, she has a How do you know that if a Goy or an Evid has a relation with a Kohenis or a Levi, they passle her from ever, ever being able to marry a coin? We bring a Pasik, and then it says, Ubas Koyin, a Bas Koyin, Kisia Alman, if she becomes a widow. The daughter of a kind, she comes from a kind stock. She becomes a widow, a grusha divorcee. The Z A, she has no children. She reverts back to her family. She can eat her again and so on. Who was she married to that we say she can go back? If she was married to somebody that if they die, she becomes an almana. Somebody who's able to give her a, a divorce. But if she was married to a guy, that's it. She cannot go back to Kahuna because a guy cannot give you a divorce or you don't have the status of almana. If you hold up a kid, if a guy lives with the Yiddish woman, the child of Mamza, hash the Mamza, have if she, if she produces a Mamza, you need to tell me a passing that she is a, she is an apostle to go back to the Kuna and, and marry and so on. She can create, she can, if she can create a Mamza, we have read all the jewels before, then surely she herself has been affected by it. Must be, Gabi Shmol Zahro, Gabi Akjabi Akiba. And Rabbi Lazar sold like a Bishmol, Rabbi Lazar means Rabbi Lazar. Holds like a bishmo that kusim agayin are goyim, and he and he holds like a bekiva that uh, that a goy that has a relation with a woman the child of mamzer kusim get a relation so the bekiva I'm not going to have a mamzer says the gemara umi so so you're telling me Rabbi Lazar holds like a bekiva that what that the child is a mamzer let me ask you a question but Omar Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Lazar says afa pishe nechdu we have the gemara in Yevamos there's a machlek is there between Beis Shama and Beis Rabbi Shammai, we learned this whole Gemara in Ivambas about a Tsaras Erva. 
a man, Reuben, was married to two women. And he had a brother, Shimon. Shimon's, uh, and Shimon's uh, daughter is the one who was married to Reuven, and plus another friend of the woman. So when, if Reuven passes away, since Shimon cannot live with the Ervots, his daughter, so uh, Mishnah says, now he'll hold, and the Tzad is also free to go. The Tzad is ever free to go. She doesn't need a Chalitza. She can marry anywhere she wants. But Shammai disagrees. But Shammai holds that the Ervot, of course, is as if she's not married at all. As far as Shimon is concerned, as if she's not involved in the relationship, there only remains the Tzara. The Tzara has to be, what, receive chalitza before she can marry anybody else. Now, according to if, if, if according to Basil, if if the, if this Arab Tzara married Shimon like Beshame wants, it's a isakaris because it's your Arab. You're not going to marry your brother's your brother, you know, your your husband's brother. So according to Basil, what Beshame recommends is an isakaris. According to Beishamai, what Hill recommends is that what no chalitza go to friend, they should over Isalav. And then we had the mother there that the kids of Beisha, the daughters and sons of Beishamai married the daughters and sons of Basil because they would tell each other, hey, Beishamai, don't marry my daughter because uh, went through the experience that you hold is the wrong thing, or vice versa. That's what it says. So, so Rabloza says, Afa Pisha Nechugo Beisham Basil Betzaris, Moidim, they all are Moidim, she ain't Mamzer. That the din of mamzer is only is me she is sura is a erev of anish In other words, beshama is made that if you follow Beis Hillel's prescription and she does not get does not get chalitza, she marries somebody else. She merely did a lot, and any children that she creates that she procreates will be what only an isa lab. They're not a pogrom. They're not a mamzer. They're not a mamzer. So clearly from here, a goy living with the Yiddish woman is not is, does not produce a mamzer because it's a kardeset. So what's going on here? So what's the sword of Kusi not marrying Kusi? Elik Yosef Rabbi Rabbi Bar Abba. When Rabbi came back there to the bubble, he said the name of Rabbi Bar Abba, the name of Rabbi Yosef. And others say Amr Rabbi Abba Bar Zavda, Amr Rabbi Chinin. And others say Amr Rabbi Yaakov Eli, Amr Rabbi Shimon Levi. Shalosh Machlekes Bedala. The three Machlekes in regarding Kusi that we mentioned before, and this is they all argue about a pasuk. Um, it says in the pasuk, sorry, Rabbi Shmuel holds. Kusim gedei arayis. Rabbi Shmuel holds that Kusim were gedei arayis, but the koyinim shenitmem. There was koyinim that that married into their families, that married into their families. They were not emes again. Those are goyim, and there were koyinim that, for whatever reason, married into their families. So, but those koyinim were married into their families. Sulim hayu. They were all pasul koyinim. Shenemar. It says vayasul lehem. It says in the pasul there. Um, they made mikzoy some koyne bummers. They built these uh, bummers in the backyards, um, and, and and which was also, and they had these koyne work with them. But they used the word mikzoy some. What a mikzoy some? The Amar Rabbi Chan, Amar Rabbi Yechonan, min ha koytsim shemam. The thorns in the nation. In other words, they were not good people. They were not good koyne. Umushem hachi paslinu. That's why we passled. Uh, that's why we passled all the kusim because there were Eden involved in there. There were pasle koyne involved. In, in, in the families, and that's why we don't marry into their families. <clears throat> so, the Gemara further. Um, <clears throat> but Rabbi Akiva saw that Kusim gave the Emerson. He said, No, Kusim were Emerson Yidin. The Koinim Shinitman, the Koinim that mixed into their families who worked in their bummers, were Koinim Shayim Hayyur. They were actually good Koinish. And it says, The Yasulam Miktoisam, Koinim Bum. Miktoisam is, we also have the word Kutsim, which means an officer, a Hosh of a person. So uh, the, the best people, which is the word um, which is from the word which is called Tyson, which is you know cuts which are the officers. So that's why then you're allowed to marry because they were Eden and the coin and forget Dafka coin mixed into their families. We'll look how the machlegs in Lakotsa Lakotsa. One says they're Goyim and the worst possible coin in the riffraff married into them. The other says they were all Eden and Dafka the best coin Dafka searched to marry into their families. You know, future generations down. The other thing that awesome. So why Taka did we ask him marrying? A yid should not marry a kusis. You know why? They one thing they did like we do. That if somebody was merely engaged, Reuben was engaged to a woman, Arusa, and then Reuben died, the, the laws of Yibam still apply. But where they, they went wrong was they felt that if Reuben actually married uh, this woman and then Reuben dies, there's no bits of Yibam. And therefore, there's, they, they have all these women who are high of loving and they have these. Uh, Why did they do that? My dosh, the dash and the posse. 
Now, why they dash the pasuk on Esther Chacham when they pass? I don't know, but this is what they did. They dash the pasuk. It says the pasuk is when it comes to Yibum. Lo yisia each of the maids hachutzah, the wife of the maid should not be outside. No, but she should not marry an outsider. Le each zor to frame the person. So they tie to the word chutzah is a description about her. Hach the yosva chutzah. If she was on the outside, no, but she wasn't yet totally married, didn't consummate a marriage yet. She was on the chutzah. She was only not rusa like the elisa. She he not allowed to marry a strange person. Uh, a, a, a strange person. She first has to go ahead to the brother in law. I the loy yosva chutzah. But if she was not an outsider, she's a totally married. And T. Lizar, she's a lot of married. Say, I need to They could, but they were happy with their Russia. They were happy with their Russia, which means, you, on the one hand, you say they were great people. Koyin and Dafka wanted to marry. On the other hand, they're totally Amaratsi. They refused to listen to the Rabbon. So it's, it's a bit of an enigma here. But Abakiva the Tamei, and Abakiva goes further. So, okay, let's say that's true. So then it's a lab. What's the problem? But why can't you marry the next generation? Oh, Rabbi Kiva Tamei, Dama Yesh Mamzim Mechayev Aladin. He says when they did did this, so if you had a woman who was supposed to marry a brother-in-law, and she just, because she was married, she, they decided that she could marry him as she wants, Chayev Aladin, the children of Mamzadim. So you have Mamzadim mixed into their families. That's the opinion number two. Opinion number three, you know why you don't marry Kusim? Yesh Hashem Bekiim Bedikduki Mitzvah. They weren't Zoyer in Mitzvah. And you don't want to get involved in a family that's not from so the, um, now there's a bachelor machlek is about kusim if you if there was zoya mitzvah or not we actually have like three opinions um man yesh aimim who does yesh aimim that say they wouldn't prove enough i'm gonna be a rabbi rabbi lezari this follows rabbi lezari the tanya the, 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 if you look at the gesoy we're going back and forth it's rabbi lezari or rabbi lezari very uh convoluted here anyway the time we learn matzah's kusi if a kusi produces matzah for pesach can you trust them they did it to kudasa kudin muteris you're allowed to eat it on Pesach. And Nachme, for Adam Yitzchak boy, you dey chavasi be Pesach. Your Yitzchak Pesach means you can even rely on them and come to the Shema. You can rely on them completely. <clears throat> You're allowed to pick, yeah. Um, generally, if you don't have proper matzah, we say eat your whole suda and then perhaps come and eat the last kazai. Here, we can trust them. And taste that's a question. It says it says in in the Pirkei Rabbi Lozer, whoever eats the matzah of a kusi is like he's eating chazer. How do you reconcile these two? It's the same Rabbi Lezer. So, so from Tate, we see the gist is Rabbi Lezer. Even though on the side here, it says it should be Rabbi Lezer. Um, anyway, or others say that it's Rabbi Lezer there. He says here, when do we say you're not supposed to eat matzah from kusi if it is a, if the kusi is making in his own house? Then we don't trust him. But um, if he's standing in your house as your chef, your baker, and he's making matzah, then it's 100 all right. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, good. Because of what would be the problem? The Should what? Oh, now what about the shmos places? There's two things. Make sure it's a chametz and and the shmo. So regarding the shmo, the only time we can rely on the shmo is if the kusi himself eats from it, because they don't believe in the lifna even. We learned already before. They don't care about the, for themselves. They're very frum, the frum of the pipes, but they don't care about somebody else. The only way that you can trust them completely. Is if they themselves participate in the seder, they eat from the matzah, then you know they made the lishma. But people hold the kusim and goyim. No, no, no. We're saying now, Abba Kiva, Kiva hold the gate of emes. If they're going, then from this old time that we that we trust them to be eaten. And then it says here, uh, that, that's the Tanakama. Rabbi Lezer Oisin, Bisha Ein Biki in Biduki Mitzvahs. That's what I would bring. They they don't they're not zoy. They don't know the mitzvahs. Not because maybe deliberate. They just are not particular. They don't know the mitzvahs. Rabbi Shimon Galil says. It depends. Call mitzvahs of the because they have any mitzvah that they took on themselves to be zoya medakik bo yaisis or the fruit of the yid, but they don't take on all the mitzvahs. So that's why you shouldn't marry into the family. So the question is, when you shouldn't marry into the family, just because they don't keep Shabbos with Avsan, you shouldn't marry the daughter. Why, 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 why shouldn't you marry their kids? So he says, if Allah my ain bikin, if she ain bikin, the Torah's kedushim begedushin. They're not so particular in the laws of Kedusha Yeshin, and therefore there's a chash of psulim mixed into the family. In other words, the fact that somebody is not from personally has no bearing. We're not going to say don't marry into the family because the parents aren't from. It doesn't matter. If, if, if the daughter or the son is from, why not? Clear. If the problem is, so why shouldn't you marry? Because there's a chash of the mamzedas or other psulim that are mixed into the family. So the Gemara, I'm not going to what happened was 
two kinds of mamzadim actually mix into the family because they weren't so careful. One is a mamzim machay, so a sister married a brother incest and they had a child, and that child married into the kusin family. So there's a something always who comes from that family. And there's another, and also a mamzim me'eshes ach, a married woman or me'eshes ach, the, the brother, the brother in law married, uh, you know, the, the wife of his brother when he shouldn't have. And there's Isa Karas, also if, if they were children. So, so there's a mamzer. Ready, Gemara, and it's not mixing the family. That's why you don't marry because there's a, there's a chash. But this each one might be a descendant of that. Ready, Gemara, my commercial one. What do you have to give us two stories for? Once you have one mamzer mixed in the family, what do you have to tell me? One was achaysisha, and what um, um, um uh, what do you call? It? One was achaysoi, uh, and one was aishazoch. Uh, what do you both for? Says the Gemara. Um, my uh, yes, Are you trying to tell us that there's a mamza even just from Kodesh alone? Because we're by a sister, by an H. Zoch, let's say a married woman, let's say it was an H. a married woman over there, the sister of, of Mrs. Best. Achoisa is merely Kodesh. Are you trying to tell us, because we had a machay Yathanayim before, that you're trying to tell us that we pass like Bentayim, that even a mamza from Chayav Kisis, that even an Isra of Chayav Kisis has the din of a mamza. Nisa Chodesh, we're ready to just tell us one. Tell us that case, and that's it. Tell us the case of uh, Achoisa. And, and we know that there's a that uh, there's a mamza mixed family, and we pass in that even a chayisa, you only use a card as a mamza, and that's it. What if it tells the mice about Eishazach? You know, the brother's wife say I marry one. Mice are kachri, just telling this a fact. He's telling you why we don't marry the family, because two incidents happened. One was a sister, and one was an Eishazach. Rabbi Amma says, says, no, what happened was not that mamzadin got mixed in the family, but an evid and a shivchan. An evid and a shivchan is arba behen. Now, an evid married one of the daughters. And a shifra <laughs> got married to one of their, their sons, and we don't know who it is. Mishra Ben. It's it's What's the Isa? Mishra Shifcha. The Isa is because of Shifcha. Because a goy, if the father was a goy who kissed, the, we passed in the Vlad Kasha. Even though there's a day we had a taste of, we'll have a taste of Pchedis, we had a taste of before as well, that when we say, and you've almost said, when we say that, that Vlad Kasha means if Vlad is a goy, and Kasha means if he's a guy, he'll be 100% acceptable. But we learned that Havlad Kosh means the child is a Yid. So Lechayla, we're not worried about the Evid part. It's irrelevant. The Evid married a Yiddish woman, or a Kuzel, to say the child is a Kosh. Our main concern is a Shivcha. The mother was a Shivcha, so the child is a, is a Goy, a Shivcha, an Evid, and that's it. So that's why you're not married. So why do you have to be, give both cases? This the Chodah Maisa tells the story of Shivcha. Sorry, this the Chodah just tells the story of Shivcha. And the Mother Maisa Shahoya Kachoya. That's just telling a story that that got mixed into the family, these two kinds of people, and therefore we're worried.